baseball video here. Michael Brantley going over to the Houston Astros. And when I watched him in Cleveland, he really seems to go into slumps uh, since his swing is so low maintenance in Michael Brantley. I think he was known as Dr. Smooth in Cleveland. The injuries can sometimes be a problem. Only, two, only 32 in May, right? And he was injury-free last year. I think Cleveland will definitely miss him. And I think he swung at... Uh, 10, uh, 1,008 pitches last season and only missed 111 times. His 11% whiff rate was third lowest in the majors. Yes, that is a thing, whiff rate. And this was actually, I seen this on uh, Twitter. Um, you know, two year deal. And now, if I look at this from uh, the Houston Astro, uh, Houston Astros kind of uh, perspective, there, you might be saying, "Listen, and 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 I, and I know Brantley is good, right?" Now you guys are were uh, you're worried about you know other players that you have in the outfield, and uh, such as Jake. You know, like like Jake, you you think if he plays full time that he could get the numbers? A lot of fans are saying he only had about two hundred uh, at bats. Stud athlete. Yeah, he might be saying, listen, give Jake five eighty to six hundred at bats, and he will hit over twenty bombs. Good outfielder, you know, and 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 Brantley has been hurt. Listen, um, you know, right now with Jake, it, it, it's. It, it, the other problem too is there are too many holes in his swing. You know, remember that Brantley is a proven, you know, lifetime two ninety five hitter. And sometimes Jake gets lost for long stretches. But I think uh, Brantley is going to, for all you Jake fans out there, as an example, I think Jake is going to DH a lot and play in the field a couple of times a week. Jake, right there, um, with. Sp uh, Jake, Kemp, and Reddick will rotate with Springer, I think, playing full-time. As long as he does not get injured, I think that will allow, like, uh, you could allow a guy like Jake to get 400-plus plate appearances. You know, his Jake ceiling is a, a 750-plus OPS player. So, if he does not get injured, he could have a breakout year this season. And I know sometimes it's hard to get lost as a replacement player. But, you know, from what I read, too, in regards to Jake, over the past uh, few years, coaches have worked with him on his hitting intensely, and nothing worked, right? If he could only have maintained, a, like, a 250 average, uh, you could easily carry him uh, as his defense is outstanding. He definitely has to hit some. Maybe something will change. But emotions aside, unless he gets uh, that average up and strikeouts down, he will always be a best a defensive sub. And, uh, you know, I could see where you uh, say, you know, he, he deserves a shot. But, listen, you like, you like the, the problem That you have with all the uh, the surplus outfield with Brantley coming over. No. Springer center field two sixty five. Uh, Reddick two sixty two in re uh, in uh, right field, right. So Kemp two sixty three as well. So you know there are a lot of different possibilities. You know. So, you see what happens. See what happens. But I think uh, this is a, a nice move, definitely, by the Houston Astros. Hope all is well.